So here's a little trick I found on the internet, and I'll uh, put the website and uh, the person responsible for this little trick for getting the fork seals in. Um, let me see if I can get it. There we go. Uh, this is electrical tape. I had to drive the fork in, and it worked perfectly. I was kind of skeptical of it, but it really did work. Now I got to take it off and get some brake cleaner make sure there's no uh, glue residue left but it worked perfect um, one step you need to do before you start driving that seal in is uh, you have the uh, snap ring oil seal washer a steel washer and then you have the bushing right here uh, this one is a lot thicker than the newer ones uh, it looks like this bad boy it's a two millimeter thick uh, by 20 millimeter wide and uh, this sucker needs to be driven in first uh, so what I did is I uh, push it, pushed it in as far as I could and then got that washer I had the uh, I should have done this before I taped all this but I guess before you tape put tape on here get the uh, oil seal and the snap ring down here and uh, push this in as far as you can which won't be very far get that washer it'll be a nice steel washer and just uh, you know, get your dull flat blade and uh, a hammer, and then uh, just kind of tap it in as far as it'll go, and that'll take the stress of trying to mash that in with the seal. Uh, you'll probably just end up fudging your seal up. So get that pushed in with that washer, and you know, just check it, snap it a few, t uh, tap it a few times, move the washer, make sure it's going in, just keep doing that until it goes in as far as it'll go put the wash in push the seal in put the tape in just do it less than the ID of the uh, tube here and then I just sat it straight up like so and then you could probably just I, I went ahead and used the dead blow instead of using this as a slide hammer effect just to sum it up uh, uh, just pushing on those uh, that new seal so I just got a uh, dead blow and then whatever color you have use black on black use the white on if it's silver or whatever and then uh, just pop, pop, tap it in and man it went it went right in so I was surprised with that because uh, they were pretty tight coming out on the old seals but uh, went in pretty good then pull pull it out put your snap ring in if it if you don't know if it's fully in just push down again and that snap ring will snap right in and then you'll be you'll be good to go just be careful taking this off either unwind it or be if you're going to cut it off be real careful so you don't nick your uh, chrome tube there and then just wash uh, uh get some brake cleaner or alcohol or whatever and just uh, make sure there's no glue residue there and uh after that's on push your dust cap on and you're good to go these newer dust caps don't have a uh and the, the old ones, they don't have a uh, spring on them. Now, the 06 ones did have a, oops, a spring. Uh, oops. I can guess I'm being stupid. Is that? No, that's the old seal. Where? Yeah, see, the 06 ones, even the, uh, the dust seal had a spring on it. So, you know, that just kind of helps keep the tension on it I guess it probably won't matter too bad but like I said before you know it's it's up to you to keep the seals and the dust yeah both seals clean I mean you, you got to maintenance them just like anything else uh, but just do that and uh, they should last for a real long time